Hello, fellow gamers and fans of EverQuest, brought to you by the good people at Project 1999. It's Sith Lord Blackheart, the Dark Elf Cleric, and I'm with some really good friends, guys. But before I get to, um, to, to introducing my friends, I just want to give a shout out to all the people who work at Project 1999, all the people who make this game possible, Sirkin, Rogan, all those other guys, man, thank you so much for allowing uh, me to play this wonderful game, man. So a special shout out to the staff. I know they brought to you by the good people at Project 1999, but I really appreciate these people. They're, they're good people. They work hard. They, they work of, for free. And they bring us one of my favorite games of all time, guys. So tonight we have with us, we have AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. We have Cypher Deck. Hey y'all, this is Cypher Deck. We have ZKP99. Hey, what's going on YouTube? ZK here. And last but certainly not least, guys, we have Alar Truthbane. Who uh, may be having... Mic problems, trouble with yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, and we're on me and uh, AC who is playing his ogre googling to book to Bacchus Tubacus that was uh, that was actually um, uh, Chupa's recommendation on that one. Oh, I like it, dude. Tubacus. So, so let me ask you something, AC. How did you come up with that name for your ogre? Googling. I wanted yeah. something that sounded a little silly because you're playing an ogre. You know, you're gonna be, you know, just the, the big guy. Guys going on. Yeah, yeah. I wanted something a little silly, but then something that sounded like it would kind of come out of an ogre's mouth, who has like the broken English and like slurs a little bit and he's just guggling. You know, he's just kind of like bubbling out of his mouth, and it actually kind of matches his personality a little bit. So uh, I like it. I like it. <clears throat> oh yeah. So. Yeah, chicken, guys. Not not too hard to spell. How you feel about chicken? Oh, I, you know, you, you love chicken, dude. Yeah, but how do you feel about it? Do you eat any fake chicken, dude? Do you eat uh, the vegan version of chicken? Yeah, you know, they got this uh, thing from Gardenia. They have um, this orange chicken they sell for that uh, yeah. Chinese food. It's delicious, dude. I love it. Oh, um, not as good as the original. Yeah. You, you can't you can't eat it as a vegan. It's, well, it's it's, it's not real chicken. It's like yeah, a it's soy vegan. tofu vegan version, of version yeah. with like <laughs> it has the texture right okay. and the flavor is pretty good, but it's, it's not as near as, as good as the original. It's it's close though. But Doom, you just had some pretty big news. You want to tell people about it? Or you want to keep it a little secret for now? I think I'm gonna keep it a secret, man. I don't want to call. I don't want to cause anybody trouble. I don't want to uh, put anybody on the spot. I just uh, want to give it, like I guess, like I said, a special shout out to Circuit, especially for being such a cool dude, man. And uh, for especially for the the YouTube content. I wish that I had time to to watch his Twitch when he was twitching and be able to interact with him. I've only done it once, but uh, just a special shout out to Circuit and all the staff at P99. Thank you guys for. For doing what you do, man, I really appreciate it. And Rogan today, it's his birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Rogan, man. Yeah, Very happy cool. birthday. Happy birthday. I yeah. hope that's not just like ZK's telling everybody happy no, birthday. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. Man. I can link I can <laughs> to you. I can link you. <laughs> Rogan is going to be told happy birthday from now on. <laughs> that's not, that's, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even joking about that, man. It's, it's actually his birthday today. You know, one of the people that make uh, P99 possible, probably the person, from what yeah, I understand. Yeah, he is. The, he's the, he's the man that that runs it and is, does it all. So. Yeah. So you know, I mean, uh, just uh, guys, we've talked about this many times. EverQuest is my favorite uh, MMO. As far as MMOs, EverQuest is my first love. Now you can go back to Baldur's Gate, the text-based games. You know, you can play that with your friends and stuff like that. So the, technically, that was my really the first. MMO that I fell in love with, but it was text-based. This game is 3D. It's beautiful. It's amazing. This is my first love as far as MMOs go, and uh, it's a good first love. This game is... Uh, I, it's, I don't think there's any other game that's better. There are games that are equivalent. Like, uh, right now, we're, we're playing Dark Age of Camelot, guys. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm falling in love with it, but uh, EverQuest is always going to be my first love as far as MMOs got uh, M MMOs go now what about you guys you guys got anything different uh, from EverQuest did you yeah. want to talk about Boulder, Boulder's Gate was a good game man. did you ever play the second one are you talking about the CRPG man the CRPG no 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 the, the regular uh, just like the campaign mode of uh, Boulder's Gate did they ever make an MMO out of that one I, 
to I don't, see. I don't know. I used to play no, Baldur's Gate text based, no, dude, which they, was basic. You know. Baldur's Gate, they, they have, they, they've only made it into like a, a single player game. They haven't ever made it into an MMO, from what I understand. I know I play Baldur's Gate and I play Baldur's Gate Two on the PlayStation Two, so I know that they're both on there, but they've never had it online, from what I know. But all right, let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, there you go, Alar. Let's run over to you. Give it a minute. It takes like a minute, and then. Are we going to split Paul? Or are we yeah. gonna? Yeah, let's kill? split Paul's because okay. this, this place is already taken. Oh yeah, it's it's camped out the wazoo, dude. But yeah, as far as as far as MMOs go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I try to I try to keep him away from me. <laughs> I like I like uh, hairless wazoos, dude. The ones that've been you know been no manicure. You got a little bit of manicure yeah. going well, on. Well, you know, maybe maybe just smooth and, and and hairless in the first place. You know, just what like naturally, about, just like that, <laughs> just naturally. I've been drinking. I haven't been drinking too much, too many margaritas today, Thum. Uh, do you know, I, dude, I had two of them yesterday, and uh, last week uh, I had like seven or eight. Uh, I love margaritas, guys. There's something about the salt and the mixture and the, the tequila that it's just, it's just amazing. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I might be Jimmy Buffett's long lost brother, dude. As much <laughs> as I like margaritas, so you know, it's, it's a possibility. But it's just my favorite. It's one of my favorite mixed drinks, anyway. Is there chicken in those margaritas? No, but I had chicken burritos with them, man. And there's something about a margarita and chicken burritos that, once again, is for me one of the perfect combinations out there. Chicken. What do you? I mean, do you guys do you guys do mixed drinks? Do you? I mean, any of you? No, I'm not, I'm not a big all. drinker person, so I don't drink. Uh, Chupa, Chupa would be yeah. there with you, man. Chupa would be like, yeah, this is his favorite <laughs> one. <laughs> Sex on the beach. His buttery nipple. Uh, by the way, through, this is an intervention. <laughs> Wait, we're doing an intervention at the moment. You, I think you Chupa's just... going to be pissed when he hears that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cypher. We stepped on you, man. What were you saying? I said, uh, by the way, through, this is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude I, dude. I don't have near as bad as a problem uh, without no, I don't. Yeah. No, this is an intervention for his chicken problem. Oh, uh, well, no, yeah. chicken, I do have a problem. Yeah, sure. he does. So, Feathers going all <laughs> over the place at all times of the night, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, this fish mall knoll is oh, not being killed. Hey, let's... Okay, I guess maybe it is camped. Yeah, somebody's camped oh, with us hey. out here. Right, I figured we'd kill a couple birds before we go in. birds. This is a chicken, dude. This is uh, KFC. This is EverQuest version of the chicken. Because there's no chickens in EverQuest. Is there? Is there? Mm, is there chickens? No, I don't think yeah, there but... is. There, there's bunny rabbits. Oh, there's bunny rabbits. Office. Yeah, there, there's the, the chickens outside of in Dreadlands and over there. Oh, you're right. Yeah, dude, that's, that's, that's not really chickens, dude. That's a basilisk and cockatrice, dude. Those are those are uh, yeah, paralyzed those chickens. Are chickens yes. Those are chickens. Those are the those are the kinds that Thune really likes because they make him rock hard, dude. When they paralyze, <laughs> <get> it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jeez, that's that's horrible. <laughs> you know, I do what I can for the community. <laughs> <laughs> by uh, frightening and uh, you know scaring small children <laughs> somebody out there who you know they had just hey, gone to so KFC they had like a chicken leg in their hand and they're just like I'm not hungry anymore <laughs> what has he possibly done to my chicken <laughs> <laughs> why is this sticky oh god it's got the white it's got the cream sauce <laughs> it's not good <laughs> Oh, I love your laugh, ZK. That is definitely an infectious, infectious yeah, laugh. Yeah, my I friend. know it is. I, 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 you're not the only person that's told me that, man. I, I've actually had other people tell me that. Uh, my grandma tells me that all the time. So. Oh. And you said that you you told me, yeah, I think it was yesterday that she's doing a little better, man. That she got yeah. some really good, dude. That's that's good, man. I'm glad, dude. Yeah, same here. She hair, seems man. to be doing. She seems to be doing a little bit better, but you know, I'm glad that she's doing better. For now, anyway. You know. Well, we wish her the best, dude. Just like you, man. You're our brother. You're our friend, dude. And, uh, you know. So definitely hope she gets even better, dude. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Come on, Rude. Did you get it off of you? I, I, I thought I rooted it. There we go. Now it's. Yeah, so, how long has it been since you played Sith Lord? 
I mean, I know it's, he's still like level 25, and it's been. Oh, yeah, it's been, it's been a minute, man. Uh, you know, the Dark Age of Camelot, I ain't gonna lie, man. Dark Age of Camelot has captured my, my heart, guys. Uh, ZK turned us on to it and uh, downloaded it last week. And my troll warrior is level nine, and my little dwarven healer is level three, and I'm just having a blast, man. It's like, it's like somebody gave me another version of uh, Project 1999 and was like, here, play this. It's, it's, it's cool. And the mobs are challenging. The quests are, uh, you know, that they don't lead you by the hand, which is, you know, I know it's, it's strange, people. I mean, a lot of people who like World of Warcraft and stuff like that, they like to be led by the hand. They like the glowing. Uh, dots in the sky that tell you where the next quest and stuff is like that. You know, all of us who love these games are are different. We like we like to be challenged. And I'm not I'm not saying hey, you know, go hate World of Warcraft because it's easier. Uh, because I love World of Warcraft too, man. I played it for four years. But I'm just saying what I'm saying is, me and my friends, we appreciate these games because they are difficult. They don't lead you by the hand, and you have to you, know, you have to work your ass off on a quest and and. Uh, EverQuest, you know, and classic EverQuest. You have to, you know, you have to go everywhere. You have to, you know, talk to NPCs that you normally wouldn't talk to. So, you know, I just like that. I like that about the game, and uh, I know my friends do too. So I'm not trying to, you know, denigrate any other games. I'm just saying that this game is special to me because it challenges me. <clears throat> you know, World of Warcraft used to be a different beast altogether. I know Chupa is actually playing a emulated one right now that takes it more back to the uh, the early stages. Where it was a lot more difficult. Uh, you're gonna yeah. die, dude. You just zone it. Oh, yeah, just zone it. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna kill my kill my face in, dude. And I'm out. I think maybe he was red or something like that, dude. <laughs> he was, and none of my roots were sticking on him. Yeah, it's gonna be a little difficult with just the two of us. You really will have to get those ads before you heal me. And I had two of them there, so I should have let you know. But well, Alarm's on his way, right? He's bringing his mom well, until he gets here. Yeah, I was trying to peel it off of you and root it, to be honest, man. I was trying to get the root mez on, but that guy just didn't, he didn't care. Oh, Bushido, like, hey. Bushido said he's not on his way. Uh, you're not on your way, dude? No, he's not. I thought you, I thought you were on your way. I thought you were bringing your monk over here. We, didn't we talk about that, dude? Mm -hmm. Do you hate us a he, he doesn't like you, man. You molested his I chicken, dude. Him. It was it was his childhood friend. He was there, like, since birth. The and... chicken led me on, dude. The chicken led me on, dude. It's not my fault. You know, it gave me the googly eyes. It gave me the googling <laughs> eyes. The googling eyes. <laughs> and I was like, "Hey!" I mean, it, it rolled its ripples at you. Like, <laughs> come Heather. Were you binding wounded, Justin? I was, because you were low on life. I was trying to help you out, save you some mana, but you know, you were like, "Nah, nah, I don't want it." <laughs> Did you bind all the way up to seven percent? Not crazy. yet. Not yet. I think I'm bugged, dude. <laughs> Because you were at seventy one percent, and you were binding wound. That's I was crazy. binding wound on you because I thought you were low on life. You were at what twenty percent oh. when you zoned out of there. Okay, yeah, I thought you were binding wound on yourself, dude. That's you know. That was, I was gonna do know. like the the most clerics. They they never heal themselves, and I thought you were gonna be out there really low on life, and I'm gonna heal you up. And... No, 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 I heal the crap out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dark elf, dude. But now back in the day when I first played my. My uh, my cleric, my first cleric, dude, Kelnor. You're exactly right, dude. I never would heal myself, just like you do, man. You you're always the last to heal yourself. You're always worried about your your group mates' uh, life more than yourselves and stuff like that. And so I understand, man. It's, you know, it's definitely a thing. I just don't even look at my life, to be honest. So making it yeah, sound like I'm all like self-sacrifice. Like I'm just not even looking. <laughs> you're, all, <laughs> you're always uh, pay, paying attention to other people's life. Yeah, I mean, I understand, dude. So did you kill those guys? Did, is that a thing? Or did oh, yeah, I killed both of them like in a matter of like two seconds, dude. I am that good. The DPS <laughs> so on this guy is there. crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're still there. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta do that fight again. Yay. <laughs> well, see, I can pull both of them, and I don't really take that much damage from them. I just need you to root one of them before you heal me. Otherwise, he's going to jump on you, so... Okay. I'll tell All you what right, I so, do is uh, when you're ready, when you got a, like maybe 60, 70 percent mana, yeah. I will yeah, this, pull this, both of them. I will attack both of them before you uh, do anything, and then hopefully with your root, you don't automatically still aggro right off the bat. So yeah, I think I'm thinking the one was just too red for me to root. Uh, let's see, can I go back and and see? <clears throat> Actually, if you want to, sure. if you want to follow me around the corner real quick, it's it's safe. And and, and yeah, you can con them real quick and see. Oh, somebody's already killing them. Oh well. That is unfortunate. Yeah, he's red. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, you know, 
Uh, we can move in now. Do you want to move in or you want to stay at the entrance? Uh, we'll stay right here while you met up. But what's your amount at? Uh, it's 48. 48%. 50%. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. How much are you uh, using to heal me? Do you uh, still have protection on the blades? I gave it to you before I ported you. About 10 to 10 percent. Yes, I do still have protection of the blades, my friend. And thank you again. You're. I was so excited about your Spirit of the Wolf because it was so amazing that I didn't uh, even realize that you gave me protection of the blades, man. Which is a really good spell, dude. What yeah. are those? What are those guys, Condi? Those guys are red to me, man. Both of them? Those yeah, they're both yellow to me. Yep. Mm, I don't know, man. I mean, we could definitely give it a shot, but. If I can get root to stick, dude, we'll be gravy. We'll be gravy baby. But no, uh, I don't know. Is this guy was this guy camped here before? Are we stepping on his toes or something? Felithor, but oh, Felithor want to buy an old scroll? Do I have an old scroll? No, I don't because we haven't been long enough. What do you think, Casey? You want to go somewhere else, man, or uh, go back out to uh, dude, everywhere we turn today, guys? We, we're not having any luck with everything. Groups, camped. the servers crowded, man. But that's you know, like I said, that's. That's not news. I like to see people out and stuff like that and having fun, but uh, we're gonna run out of alls here eventually. <laughs> yeah, there's almost thirteen. There's almost thirteen hundred players on now. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a good day. It's a big day for the server. What do you uh, think? Good to see. Though. What do you think the who all is for Stonebrook Mountains? I don't know. <laughs> who all Stonebrook? No, it's not coming back with anything. I didn't come back I with anything. Who all Stone? Let me check on the wiki, I'll tell you in a minute. Whole Mount? Nah, it's not going to be Whole Mountains. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you want, we could definitely give our level 20s a try, because it's just the two of us if we go over to the Stonebrook Mountains, which is, you know, a, not too big of a run, actually. Uh, we could try out... Oh, you know what we could do? We could try out the Warrens. I don't think we've done any videos over there yet. Oh, dude. Uh, the Warrens are really low level, though, dude. Yeah, level, really? 10, to level, oh. level 10 to 20. I can it's take fizzle. It, it, fizzle level twenty-five is the max level for Stonebird. I mean, not Stonebird. Uh, Warrens. But that's way, way, oh, way deep right. in. So yeah, level level ten. Anything above that, if you want to give that a shot. Do you have level ten? I think I do. I'll have to uh, camp out and, and check. I think I got my uh, I got my Necro, who's level thirteen. Do you want to try this fight, dude, or do you want to? Do you want to? Uh, let's let's yeah, give, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Now I'm gonna pull both of them, and I want you to uh, to root one of them, man. Okay. Whichever one. All right. All right. I've already got the one on the right targeted, dude. So the one on the right is the one I'm gonna try and root, man, dude. I'm just afraid we're gonna step on people's toes. I don't want to do that, dude. Yeah. But, well, I mean, he hello. asked us. He asked us if we yeah. wanted it. Let me know if that gets rooted, if or if it gets resisted. Okay. If you got to, just run it. Just run it. I will. Oh, yeah. I will. I'm going to keep trying, though, dude. Oh, it's... Okay. Beating your face in. Yeah. Did you get it? Did I get him? Oh, I got him. Nice. I oh, no. He broke. Oh, no, he, he broke. Ran, he broke. Yeah, I would try one more time, and if that doesn't work, we'll we'll take it to the entrance, and we'll try to fight it there. Uh, All right, that works. He, it's sticking. Yeah, yeah, it's sticking. Heal yourself up, man. Heal yourself up. Because uh, that, that's, be right. that's probably going to probably gonna break again in a second, and I'd rather you have a little bit of health so that you're able to um, root it again if you right, need let me get, Let me get you first, and then I'll get me. Because you're getting low. Mm -hmm. I, I have enough health to make it to the zone line. Let's see if it lasts this time. If it doesn't, it's not the case. Ah, welcome back, man. Yeah. So I don't it, know for how long. Seems yeah, like, I'm sorry to hear you struck, brother. Uh, we've all gone through I, that, though, man, when it comes to uh, microphone I'm troubles. To or... cable, see if it's the cable. What type of microphone are you using, by the way? Rhodes Podcaster. And does that connect through a... Um... USB. Oh, a USB. <laughs> I was going to say, if you had one that uh, actually comes off, you could just replace the cable if that's the problem. I was going to say... Well, well, if the USB does come off, I swapped out my uh, printer cable, and so far, so good. Okay. You might want to... You might want to try if, if if this doesn't work, a liar. You might want to try a different USB port because sometimes it could be your USB port. I know. Last week or so, I've been having problems. Like uh, all my um, um, videos I've recorded, the YouTube videos, the, the all the other videos I've recorded through my prospecting and all that. Uh, they the f whole the folder, the original folder for where they were sitting. But the subfolders in it were all gone. Everything. You're out gold digging and stuff, dude? You're getting out and uh, prospecting, bro? Is that, uh, is that what you said, Lark? 
Oh, he doesn't want you to know about it. His mic just went out. He's like, I don't want you to know about it. (laughs) I want to know about the gold, dude. No, no. no. There's no gold in these hills. They have to be gold. (laughs) They have to be lucky charms. I, you know, that's something that interests me. There's uh, supposedly, there's a guy that I work with who does that, man. And he's saying that uh, that there's actually streams and stuff around here in North Carolina where you can get gold dust and stuff out, dude. And that he's actually made a little money doing it. So You have to root that one, man, because I can't get it off you in time. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's actually a good... Watch your life. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's see if I can heal myself. For some reason, Skype keeps booting me. Ah, that may be, you know, we're, we've definitely been having trouble with it. Ooh, feedback. I've been telling AC he needs to go over to Discord, but he doesn't like Discord. No. <laughs> okay. How many times have you said that? I, I don't know. He's, I was going to wait until he tells me happy birthday like Sirkin. I'll be right there in the club with him. I love you, <laughs> I love you guys, man. <laughs> oh, we love you too, man. It's good to have you out, dude. It's been a long time since we've hung out with you. Dude, I mean, you're always off doing the big, um, you know, the big raids and stuff like that with your, with your, um, with your guild, and uh, you know, it's always good to hang out with your brother. I'm glad that we've, uh, we're, we've been able to hang out on Dark Age of Camelot too, man. I look forward to, to hanging out more with you guys on that game, dude. It's, it's, it's definitely a cool game. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. you're dying, man. Uh, okay, I think I got. No, I don't have a hill, dude. I'm close though. I've got 15, percent so I should have. I'm doing, there we go. I'm doing pretty good. I think uh, for yellows, I'm I'm holding my own against these guys. But yeah, prospecting, man, that would be kind of cool. Other than you know, like the bad back, like uh, you're gonna be bending over a lot. You're gonna be doing some some rough handling of some stuff. But like, yeah, oh what? I watch those uh, TV shows, man, and it looks uh, you know, it looks kind of cool to to get out there and get your hands dirty. Right. Have you ever done any of that, uh, too? No, no, uh, you know, I've just had people talk about it and stuff like that, and I've seen, you know, of course, movies where, where the old West, you know, the, oh, the guys go. in the West were, okay. <clears throat> so we did that, man, we did that. That was a lot tougher than I would have liked it to have been, but we actually did it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Split all pie. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, you're, doing, you're working construction right now, Thum, so, I mean, you think it would be similar to, to doing that, or you think it would be harder work, or what? Uh, well, you know, the thing about construction work, guys, is, uh, you know, it's, it's got this reputation for being hard. And if you're a laborer, you're going to be you're going to be working. You are. I mean, you're going to be down digging and shoveling and stuff like that. But the, I'm, I'm back at the interest, dude. But the thing about uh, the job that I do, which is I'm either uh, operating a dozer or I'm operating um, an off-road dump truck. So your machine is I find being in that off-road dump truck to be extremely boring. Uh, you know, I take my iPod with me and that alleviates some of the boredom. But, you know, I'll spend 12 hours in a day. We don't take breaks. We work through breaks and stuff like that. I probably shouldn't have said that because you're supposed to take breaks. But, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you, I get so bored with it, dude. I actually get so bored with it that I love to get out and use a shovel. I love to get out and labor. I you know, do, do silt fence and stuff like that because it breaks up the tedium of being in the machines. But the machines do all the work, man. I mean, it's got a it's got a 325 horsepower engine. It's a 35 ton off road dump truck. It you know it's a workhorse. It's right. a de- you know so it it does all the work for me. I'm it's really not a hard job, dude. So uh, you know, that's, especially when you're excited about doing labor work, that's that tells you a lot about how being in a uh, you know being in a truck is. It's good that it does all the work for you though, because uh, I imagine before that people had to carry the stuff on their backs from one location to another, yeah. and that would suck. Yeah. Yeah, or use a wheelbarrow and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> thirty-five tons of dirt uh, is what it is. What the truck I use. Well, actually, the the Volvo is down, but uh, yeah, thirty-five tons of dirt, man. Can you imagine how long it would take a couple of people with a wheelbarrow uh, and shovels to move <laughs> that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah that'd be crazy. Long, long time, yeah. man. <laughs> but, I mean, what what's it like though? Is as what's the suspension in that thing? When you put thirty-five tons, does it go down quite a bit, or is it so strong that you just yeah, it kind of just stays where it's at? You know, it creaks a little bit. It creaks. Uh, it definitely, you definitely know you've got 35 tons of dirt on the bank, but it handles it like a champion. I mean, that diesel engine, it, it, it doesn't struggle. It'll run up a hill. And the funny thing about it, guys, is you would think um, the shocks would be better without a load, but it's designed so when you've got 35 tons of dirt on it, 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 it runs rides smooth. like a cat like. Yeah, it rides like you don't feel the bumps. You don't feel the holes and stuff like that. It's like riding on a, on a, on a boat. But when it doesn't have dirt on it, man, you hit a little 
rock. <laughs> and it's like it's like you go through the window, man. It's like ah, like it bounces you everywhere. It's, yeah, it's the nuts. springs. Yeah, it, it sounds like you're. Yeah. It sounds like you're having fun with your job, man. It's a good job, man. It's, and I'm glad to have it. I'm glad to be working and stuff like that. I had a hernia at my last job, at my last one of where I was a chef. I moved a trash can wrong and I got a hernia. And I got some bad advice from my doctors, man. But they didn't, you know, they didn't examine me enough. But uh, the first three doctors I saw about it told me, look, if this hernia bursts, you're going to die. Don't even. One of one guy told me not to even lift a, a gallon of milk because he was saying, "Look, man, if it bursts, it'll kill you." And uh, you know, I had a friend. His best friend, his dad, died from a hernia that he had, dude. It burst and it killed him. Well, finally, the third doctor was like, "Look, man, you know, I know a little bit about it. I know they're dangerous if they're in your groin and stuff like that. I don't think yours is in your groin. I think it's in your stomach. So I'm going to send you to a surgeon." And uh, the surgeon saw me and he was like, "Look, man, this is way higher. It's not near anywhere. It's not going to hurt you. Go back to work." Uh, and you'll be fine. And, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get a good job right off the bat. And I was tired of cooking. So, you know, there you go. How there can you, you be tired of cooking chicken, though, man? Dude, I've done it for 22 years, dude. Cook it, culinary was something I've done for 22 years. And uh, you do anything for 22 years, man. Either you, you, you know, I don't think I was passionate about it as, you know, when I began cooking, uh, I was a dishwasher. And they were like, hey, man, we, you know, we're short of cook. We need somebody to, be, to assist the cook that we have so you know we can cook steak and stuff like that it was a steakhouse so that's how i got into cooking you know it wasn't something that i was passionate about or something that i that i you know i was good at it I, i'm a good cook man I, I can cook you one of the best meals you've ever had i know because i cook me the best meals that i've ever had <laughs> so, you know i mean uh, but uh, i don't think it was ever anything that i was really truly passionate about because if it was i would have pursued it i mean i went to culinary school but, uh, you know, I would have been an executive chef or I would have had my own kitchen. I would have had my own restaurant if I'd have been really, really passionate about it. And the fact that 22 years later, I don't ever want to cook again tells you a lot about where my heart was. So, <laughs> you know, but I am passionate about YouTube and I would love for YouTube to become my career, just like you guys. I mean, that's what I plan on doing as well. That and uh, Twitch stream. I just got to get get you know all the things set up and just and get things where i want it but i just i just haven't had the time right now to do it so i haven't really messed with it but yeah you get it brother you get it i mean i think all of us it's one thing that we are passionate about we do love we do love making content and you know, we get to hang out with each other if this becomes a job for me can you imagine i mean ac i think it already has become your career dude so it's definitely a dream it would be a dream come true man playing video games for a living making money off playing video games. I can't think of any better fate for for me than that. But if I if I have to stick with the um the construction job for a while, I'll be happy with that too because it is a good job. You know, I mean, it comes down to like you said with health problems. I mean, I have a few, so that's it sets it up perfectly for me. This is something I can do and still be able to have fun and still be able to bring in a little bit of income. With you, you're you're sitting down in that um uh, that truck and you're able to still be able to provide for yourself and you, right. know, you don't have to worry right. about lifting too much heavy stuff. So uh, you just got to find that job that really does it for you. And hopefully, if you're lucky, and I, and I do say that, uh, you know, knowing that a lot of people are not lucky enough to have that luxury to be able to find something that they also enjoy that also uh, brings them the income. But, uh, you know, if you're lucky and you uh, you strive for it, you might be able to find that one thing that brings you happiness that you can do for a living. And we're somewhat lucky enough here that we've kind of found that. And I hope yeah, everybody out there yeah, watching... Dude. Yeah, this whole place is. Yeah. We're, we're gonna go to Stonebrunt, guys. Uh, in a minute, we're yep. gonna we're gonna end the video here in just a couple seconds. But we want to thank you guys for watching. We have uh, tried a few different places today. We tried Skyfire. We did a couple episodes there, and we're trying this zone. And we'll probably only do one episode here. The entire game, no matter where we go, is just packed yeah. full of people. <laughs> I bet Stonebrunt's gonna be camp too, man. But you see, I wanted to I wanted to add to what you just said, dude. And guys, if you're young and my advice to you would be like, look, find, explore, find what you love to do. Once you find what you love to do, make that your passion. Go after it. Try and find a job doing it, dude. I mean, you may have to grind, work at McDonald's and stuff like that to get money and stuff like that. But if you have something you're passionate about and you love doing it, try and make a career out of it, man. Do your best because if, you, if you're if you doing something you love as, a, as work, it's not even going to feel like work to you, man. It's going to be... And uh, it's going to be a pleasure to go to work. And uh, I would love to have that. I've had that before. Back when I was in love with cooking, I used to love to go to work and I was passionate about it. 
but uh, you know, definitely, I would definitely suggest doing that, pursuing that. Pursue what you love, guys. And I think we're going to end the video here. I want to thank AC and Cypher and ZK and Lar, all of you guys, for coming out and hanging out with me. Uh, AC, is there anything that you'd like to plug before we take off? No, guys. Just uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, on the next episode, we'll be able to bring you some content of us actually killing some mobs a little bit faster than we are now. Uh, we yeah. do again apologize. <laughs> there's, there's not much we can do on the weekends when there's a lot of people on. Uh, you guys have seen it when there's not, and we just kind of wreck through a zone. It's it's amazing, but uh, we're kind of having to share things. We don't want to step on people's toes, so it is what it is, and hopefully you guys will uh, still enjoy these videos. And until next time, guys. What about you, Cypher, or ZK, or anybody? Yeah. I'm here. Um, subscribe? Yes. Yeah, just subscribe. What? Subscribe. <laughs> 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 I like it. I love it. Guys, peace. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was... Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.